So in the last video, I told you that variables and values can be interrogated. What do I mean by that? Now, in the case of Java or C++, a variable can contain only one type. And it's very clear what type the variable contains because you can look up the declaration and see what type it was declared in, right? So we have an int a, no matter where you use a, it always has to have the type integer, right? So it's obvious what the type is. But now in the case of JavaScript, there's no way of knowing it, right? So it's basically, when you're looking at a variable, the type is basically what type it holds at that point of time. It could hold a completely different type later. So it's important to be able to find out what type the variable is. It's not static. You have to be able to figure it out dynamically. So how do you find out, given a variable, what is its type? The way to do this is using an operator called type of that comes with JavaScript. In order to identify what the type of a variable is, you say type of and then give it the name of the variable. You can also do this with a value. You can say type of and give it a value and it's gonna give you the type. Let me demonstrate that. So let me clear this again and uh, take all these things out. I have a var a equals 10. And let's say I do console.log of type of a. So I'm not printing a, I'm printing type of a. I wanna see what type it is. So if I right click, reload and run, you see the type of a happens to be number because that's what I've assigned to it. Now I can change the type and say, I can say a equals uh, hello. And now if I print the type of a, it should be a string. So I'm gonna right click and reload and run. There you go, it is a string. So let me do that with a couple of other types that we've already seen. So I'm going to assign a Boolean and then I'm going to assign null and of course I can actually print the type before I allocate any value so I let's say I say a equals 10 here and then I do type of a before the definition so in the very first line type of a is undefined and then you define it with multiple values with these individual values and then we can interrogate the type and it should show those types so let me clear this out and uh, right click reload and run so there you go those are the different types the very first line is undefined because there hasn't been a value defined then I have a number so number shows up then string then boolean and then this is the tricky part. This should ideally show null, right? Here you see it's showing something called object. We haven't covered objects yet, but this is one of the things that has frustrated so many JavaScript programmers, including yours truly. This turns out as a bug in JavaScript. Type of null should ideally be null, because like I said, null is the data type which contains the value null. But in the initial implementations of JavaScript, it turns out they chose type of null to return an object. And uh, even though now the creator of JavaScript and the team that worked on the initial versions of JavaScript admit that it is a bug, they cannot fix it because it could potentially break uh, older code that depends on this behavior. So this bug still exists in JavaScript today. So watch out for it. If you say type of null, it's gonna return an object. So how do you figure out if an object is, you know, if a variable is null or not? You can compare it to the value null. I'm gonna talk about comparators in a little bit, but um, this is a bug that's out there, so watch out for it. Uh, anyway, we're talking about type of. So that's what the type of operator does. It's an operator that follows a value or a variable, and then it gives out what the type of that uh, value or variable is, as long as it's not null. In the case of null, it's gonna return an object. 